Hope with Hacker Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing an overview of the new Mozilla Firefox 29 beta browser. So this is a the new latest beta release of Firefox. Uh, I normally don't go over beta releases of browsers in general, but uh, this one is a significant update. So I decided that I'd go through with it and show you guys um, some of the new features that are available in the beta. Now, if you're running the normal version of Firefox, you will not see these updates until they make the beta kind of the stable version. Um, but these are some pretty significant updates. And these are kind of a glance to what you can expect Firefox to be like in the next update. So if you're interested in trying out the Firefox beta, I uh, know below here it says like 450 million people have or some, something like that. Um, what you can do is you can go to the link below. I'll have a link for this website right here, which is the Mozilla.org Firefox beta site. And you go ahead and download it using the big green button there. And then you'll start downloading um, right after that. So we'll go through the installation process. Uh, install, it automatically downloads itself through the installer and then installs itself. All right, so the installation process has finished. So as normal uh, Mozilla installation, you have the option to import anything. I'm not going to go, not going to right now at least, and I'll go next. So also normal, you get the uh, option to set as your default, but we'll just save that for now. And welcome to the new Firefox. So the biggest addition to the new Firefox is Firefox Sync. Firefox Sync is very similar to Chrome. It allows you to sync your browsing history, bookmarks, add-ons, and favorites across all your devices. Unfortunately right now though, because this is in beta, you have to have the beta version of all of the Firefoxes in order for this to work. So you need the beta version of the Firefox for your phone and the beta version of the Firefox for your computer. But eventually though, this is the beta, so eventually this feature will go uh, mainstream into all the Firefoxes in the future. So now I'm getting to a bit more of the look of Firefox. So obviously the first time you run it, you get bring it to this page here. It actually teaches you a bit about the new Firefox. So you can see, I'm actually click for you in the top right hand corner, um, kind of like a Chrome like menu button here and we have things like cut copy and paste our zooming options new windows everything basically you find in a normal browser but it kind of looks a bit nicer it also seems it's a little more touch friendly too also it gives you the option to move stuff so you can click customize right here and it gives you this nice little um, intuitive ui where you can kind of pull and drag things back and forth so for example let's say i wanted to uh, put sync there i can just take sync and pull it over there and drop it in. If I want it there, I can pull it and put it somewhere else. So it's a very nice way of kind of designing it to look how you want it to look. You can also pull around the, the toolbars. So you can see if you're, you can put the Google in here, for example, you can take these ones and pull them around. So it's a nice way of really customizing how Firefox looks and feels for you. And then of course we're done, you can just exit it. Now the add-ons for Fire the new Firefox have been extended. Apparently it's supposed to do more stuff, etc. This is the beta though, so I'm not exactly sure. Um, but you can go through the add-ons and see um, different ones here. So that, for example, we have the Tube Enhancer Plus. allows you to basically download the video or convert it to an MP3 file straight from the actual YouTube website. And actually also it blocks the ads. So don't download that. Um, just kidding. But anyway... Um, yeah, and I believe that's pretty much it. I'm not exactly sure here, but yeah, and there you go. So, uh, that's pretty much it though. So now I'll go through just some personal thoughts. So you, like I said, you can start with the sync here. Uh, one thing I do like though, is the new tabs. You guys can see the tabs. Um, unlike most browsers, um, like for example, it's Chrome here. You guys can see it's very tabby like, um, the new Firefox kind of takes up less room I find than Chrome at the top here of the browser and you do get the nice little wavy lines so it's kind of nice 
Also, you notice if we go over here, we have this thing called Windows 8 Touch Mode. So if we click that, um, we go to Firefox here. It switches to like a Metro version of the app. So you can kind of pull around and do different stuff. You can enter your address here. And as you guys can see, it's very touch friendly with the tiles almost. And your tabs up there. So it's a different way and it's a touch version of Firefox, which is nice to see for anyone who uses touchscreen computers. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, that was my, that was Mozilla Firefox for you guys. And you will notice also, I just, one last point. Um, when you switch to Windows 8 mode, even when you open the app from the desktop, it goes straight to Windows 8 mode. So you will, you will have to, uh, relaunch in desktop in order to get back to the desktop. So that's pretty much it guys for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy seeing the new Firefox um, 29 beta. I definitely think it's a nice look and a nice redesign on the original. Um, anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this type of video, definitely leave uh, your comment below or you can just talk about this, for, this browser in general. You can leave that below as well. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next video which will be in two days which is Wallpaper Wednesday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. This is Dr. 7 and I'm signing off.